So yeah, we're going to launch the Kerbin Orbit Station really quick. And then we'll time warp to the Eve window and then we'll do Ike. Yeah, well, there's a lot of parts I don't know what they do, like the DLC parts, the sciencey ones. Okay, so... Um... Well, we should have a... Uh, they want five, right? The, yeah, the new orbit station has five kerbals, so a cupola is necessary. I mean, and then we got the hitchhiker storage container. So that's five right there. And then we probably need some sort of docking module. Hmm. Do we have that four-way thing, Majig? Not yet. Uh, well, they've got a nice big window there. I don't mind covering these windows, keeping it simple. So coupling uh, these, uh, they're weird because they're showing up right. All right. So we'll just put these, cover up those windows. Or, you know what? We don't need to do that. We don't need to be mean about it. Um, what we could do is just... We don't have really big solar panels yet though, so I don't know if I want to make it too big. I could... We could deorbit this. Can't we? We don't need it to have... But we need to run a fuel line though. We could have a docking port on the end. And then we don't have to run a fuel line. Well, we still need to run a fuel line. Storage can? For what? These aren't gonna look great on this, but it'll be something. Is that the best way to place comms? Maybe you should have the folding up dishes. But then they're not relays. We should have relays. Then we'll need a controller. Well, that'll work. <laughs> that was simple. It used to be a lot more difficult. Oh, no, it's trying to be difficult now. Come on, you did it right the first time. Oh, it says I've got enough Delta V, so it's fine. Controller can now change directions. Forward, reversed, okay. Good times. Well, we need a little bit more engine power. Maybe we should use a different engine. Because I think two Bobcats will give us more power and fit a little bit better on here. But they're heavier. Because with these, uh, we can surface mount and we can just go truss mount. And then they can be on the side of that. But they don't have quite as much Delta V. Well, they're not bad. So it's got the torque so that it can turn. Heart count is fine. It needs comms, but it's lower, low curb in orbit. It should be fine. It needs parachutes. We don't need... Uh, we should cut down on part count. Let's put one of these. So, okay. It's not well, 1.5 tons each, so that's 3 tons. These are 4 tons alone. And then the tank is uh, half a ton, so that's 4.5 tons, so we'll go with 3 shoots. The heat shield is a separate issue. Uh, we can dump some ablator, probably. Quite a lot of ablator. Well, they're sort of tucked in there. Well, we'll pull them out so that they're a little bit more distinct. I don't want to put them on the side. They could burn off. Actually, you know what? It's definitely going to go this side down, isn't it? Because this is much heavier than that is. I don't know how heavy is the heat shield. It's only 1.3. Let's skip the heat shield and just use the... We can put a small heat shield on the core. The fuel tank has 2,000 Kelvin. Then we could put four parachutes. So what we want to do is we can get rid of this. Just have it decouple that. That's probably not necessary anymore. We want four chutes placed on top of this. 
and we want a little bitty heat shield on that so that the core doesn't blow up. And the engines have the standard 2000 and hopefully that won't be deadly. We'll see. It will be a test. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Maybe we should have a bigger heat shield there. I mean, it's not going to be that heavy. The engines aren't going to mind, right? Having a heat shield right through their combustion chamber? <laughs> They're not going to mind. Okay, that looks like a recoverable module to me. Except we need some Delta V in order to have it come down, right? And we've got two more parts, so let's get some dumplings in. I always like baguettes and dumplings. So we're going to lock this fuel so that that fuel can be used to come... I don't know if it's got to be enough fuel to bring it down, but we'll find out. Okay, hopefully it can stand on this because we don't have enough part count for... Um, anything. Uh, so... You'll have to stand on those engines. And our controller is down here. Once it's in orbit, this thing is going to be out of control. It's got to be all Skylab-y or something. Not skylab -y, even worse. I don't know how we feel about that. I could lose, like, a pair of... A pair of uh, these in order to ensure that it remains our, under control. Uh, we, we only have the Octo. But this docking port, for reasons unknown, has this shroud. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. It is a station core. This, this whole thing is the station core. That's what it is. We were tasked to... let's see. We got need an antenna, docking port can generate power, and support five kerbals. That's all it needs. So, station one. Let's hope it can stand on this. We should auto strut. That's the sea level. So it can get off the ground. It's definitely got enough delta V to get to orbit. Okie dokie. Nobody snuck in, right? Okay. Uh, nighttime, but I don't trust it on the pad to not tip over eventually, so... Go! Oh, I didn't dump the monopropellant. Look like an action group? Well, they're not an action group. Whoa, it's wobbly, it's wobbly! Uh, come on, no, we can't go that way yet. Back up, back up. Upgrade. Shh. I need some limitations, otherwise it doesn't make it interesting. That's the 30 part count. Of course the action groups will be fine. But the 30 part counts is the thing. Limiting to 30 parts is at least some constraint on me. Uh, having a blunt front end doesn't seem to be... A big problem. And then suddenly I fail to make orbit. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't speak too soon. We are experiencing quite a lot of drag. It is also pretty close. I don't know. No, I don't. I don't think it's gonna work. I think I need a little bit more fuel or a better trajectory. Oh, this is awkward. Uh, would we have enough if we unlock this? Well, I think we should try again, but test the re-entry system for the engines. Well, that's plausible. It'd take, uh... It'd take a lot to bring this down. I mean, it's it'll stay in orbit nominally. I mean, we'll just have to dock something to it to... to push it up on this end, so... We'll leave it be. It's not going to automatically deorbit. It's going to be a little bit of a pain. All right. Uh, let's let's extend panels and see what we can do. Well, we only need to do one thing with this thrust. And 
that's that. Forty-six kilometers. Well, our apoapsis is so low, it should keep us in the atmosphere for sure. Now I'm gonna have to arm these parachutes just in case I lose connection. Um, yeah, I didn't really want the mod propellant, but there is like ten units of mod propellant on the station that we can't use because there's no thruster for it. Yeah. No ports. Now, my theory was that it would definitely go engine in first because the engines are so heavy. Let's hope it doesn't flip around and expose the parachutes. So suddenly we need to send a progress up to boost the station. Good times. We have lost communication due to plasma. Probably. Could be just lack of ground stations, but probably past plasma. Nope, oh, we got communication back. But I already did all the things I needed to do. Okay, what's its velocity going to be? There's a little tree there. Ooh, 11, 10 meters per second? You can never put enough. No, it hasn't worked yet. Thanks for following Carlo Berg. Depends on how mean the ground's gonna be to it. At least it's not water. Ooh, it's coming fast, it's coming fast! Ah! Ooh. 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 Oh, shaky textures. Okay, it, it works. <laughs> but water could have killed it though. Water could have killed it. Okay, so let's get that progress to boost that station up. We got the station contract fulfilled, right? Oh. Maintain stability for 10 seconds. Let's... hold on. Let's go over to it and see. Oh, it's not really in orbit yet. It's not in orbit yet. Right. It's still suborbital. <laughs> We've got all these... capsules here. The onion and all. Well, let's use an onion. 2,266 meters per second. But we haven't put parachutes. Hmm. This has a decoupler on it already, so that we don't need to worry about. And it has uh, it has a blader on it too. Yeah, uh, with with extra balls, this is how uh, Vostok looked. You'd have to like do something like that, or more appropriately, uh, we don't really have the small ones yet, do we? Oh no, these are. They may, I think they added these specifically so you can do this. We will have to dock, so we need RCS. So we do need these balls. Oh! Well, uh... Kelly was because um, we were launching a Gemini capsule and then there's the... Scott and Mark Kelly are twins. So it's named after them because they're twins, and we're launching a Gemini capsule, Gemini being twins, two people, right? Right? Yeah. Oliver is a reference to Top Gear, um, Richard Hammond's car during the Botswana special uh, was named Oliver, and uh, it survived through many, many difficult situations, and they brought it back to the studio. There's a famous scene of him uh, screaming, OLIVER! Something like that. Okay. You have to sort of know the Top Gear stuff for that one. So, where's our center of mass? So, thruster placement. There's a center of mass. We put our thrusters here for docking. Uh, I'll rotate them a little bit. And it's done! Look! Thruster placement. Isn't it wonderful? Which side is the... This is the hatch, right? We don't really need a Vostok capsule. Um, we could have just done an automated mission to push it up. After all, it's supposed to be a progress, but... I mean, for, I mean, I still need to put the fairing and then the rocket. Rare to put... Well, I mean, the Soyuz capsule is sort of in a fairing, but... Yeah, I guess it's alright. 
You want like the Pollux booster. The Pollux booster uh, doesn't even have gimbling and can't. Uh, it might be able to, but it doesn't have gimbling and it complicates things and it's almost as expensive. We would have to put some sort of vernier thrusters in order to. No thrust. Yeah, well, that can be managed. What you would have to do is you would have to put a liquid tank with the twitch engine so that it can control the darn thing. So you have to go like this and then you put the twitch engines on the side and then uh, you make sure that the delta V from this is shy of orbit and then use the twitch engines to finish orbit or something. Or if it goes all the way to orbit the twitch engines can bring it back down again or something. But Basically, you have to do something like that. You have to make sure that the Twitch engines don't run out first. Obviously. Otherwise, you won't have any control or limited control. You could use fins, but then that's not useful after the atmosphere. So, we have this configuration, 10,945. Or we have this configuration, which is 10,985. So, like, <laughs> Might as well just have the thing that you can control and throttle and do, you know, it's... It's nicer. But the question is, is this enough to actually push the stage up? We could carry more with this, really. We have more than enough Delta V. Way more. Hmm. You know what? Maybe we won't make it Vostok Vostok. Maybe we'll intersperse a little tank in here. We should have more green textures for our flying machines, darn it. I mean, what color do they think? Kerbals, those RCS dresses look so much better these days. I mean, what color are the Kerbals gonna want? Oh, sea level, we don't have enough thrust right now. Gosh darn it. Okay, so let's... Let's trim this down a little bit. That much fuel. Which part looks weird? The spacecraft or the whole thing? Now we have two parts left over. Okay. Shrimp? Well, we already called something prawn, so we're not... Hammer. Yes, hammer time. Fine. Hammer. Lean, not green flying machine is also a possible name for a thing. Um, let's have that like that. That's fine. That's fine. We need to dock to the station. We've got RCS. We should be good. Um, let's get a newbie. Rich Hat. Let's try and make this as easy as possible. Is that about right? It only takes us like two minutes. Okay. Well, first of all, let's get that going right. Why do you have bad a bad feeling? Oh, we're not gonna cheat like tracking station style, that's for sure. Now, that high up in the atmosphere, it wouldn't have encountered that much I mean, assuming it's realisms, you know. It wouldn't have encountered enough drag to actually deorbit by now. Of course, in real life, you wouldn't be able to get a rocket together this quickly, but talk about that aspect of it. Oh, it's, it's wobbly, it's wobbly. I should have auto-strutted. It's balancing on a spark engine right now. Strictly speaking, this isn't the best idea, but... Now, yeah, let's get rid of the fairings. Ooh. Worst clamshell deploy ever. Well, I was trying. But the fact that we have to go higher is not the nicest thing. I timed it wrong for a good direct rendezvous. This pod, does it have a reaction wheel at all? Me? Nope. Oh, great. <laughs> so it's straight up mob propellants for the rendezvous. That's great. 
Okay, whereabouts is it? There it is. What no full throttle? Uh, I actually... I'm not sure I want this camera. Don't pa panic, the air is relatively calm up here. Um, we are going to need that and I... Okay, I need caps lock on because otherwise it'll guzzle. It's still guzzling too much gas. Okay. You guys. Stop. Stop doing that. Oh, fine. 19? Everybody's on 19? Good. Okay. Okay. Maybe we can expedite a little bit here. You still have a reaction, a tiny reaction wheel, but still. That's not it. Okay, where where's our pod? Definitely seem to be coming from below. Um, I don't know if you can type them in now, or I don't know if that's changed. Okay. Oh, it's going away from us. No, come back. Hmm, RCS. Uh, we are in trouble. <laughs> We're getting very low now. We still have caps lock on. That that was a bad move. That was a bad move. We're in the atmosphere and our periapsis is declining. And this thing has monumental drag. Uh, do we still have caps lock on? I may need all that thruster power now. I think maybe I should have waited until it got to its apoapsis instead of doing this in the atmosphere. Oh, so a pod that had a reaction would have been really helpful. Oh, it wants to really flip around. Uh, it's... Uh, I... Uh, you can't see it, but I'm trying yaw right full. And it wants to go left. I don't think this is going to be possible. Um, see, it, it wants to do this. Uh, no, that's not good either, but... Hello, Sir Chegg. Things are not going so well for us here right now. We're trying to rescue this, but I think we're going to have to abort that because this thing doesn't want to stay pointed in the right direction right now because the atmosphere is too thick. And we're going to run out of mod propellant. Okay, we are aborting. Rich hat. Do you suppose we could land the whole module? Always trying not to waste money here, but... I should have just done a robotic mission to boost the thing. We could have just put a Hoobadoobadine Octo and done it. This was hubris. Hmm, I don't think I've ever tried having the Soyuz pass through the atmosphere without some sort of... I haven't tested it in, re in realism overall. And that would be down to whether Raidernik uh, 
even thought about the aerodynamics of it, but it probably isn't too bad in realism overall with fair mirror space research. Probably not. Good land right about here-ish. That looks gentle enough. Or fine over there. That's that's fine too. Occurs to me belatedly that it is a little bit pointy and not draggy enough. We may still need to just dump this module. No, uh, it should be all right. It's got to tip over though. Yeah, I didn't realize this didn't have a reaction wheel either. That was a big problem. So it couldn't hold itself steady. Oh, oh, okay. No, ah, uh, okay, 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 stop, stop, stop. <laughs> cover yeah that was a flaw these these soyuz ish things are a little bit too finicky well we didn't get the science well i we, i think we've landed in mountains before we definitely have landed in mountains before and gotten that science so that's not a big difference uh, that's not gonna be a big deal um, we're gonna have to just, uh, abandon that one station. Would I do a CK2 stream? Yeah. If people would watch a CK2 stream. Uh, but I think today I'm gonna try Outer Worlds, because I downloaded it yesterday and it's 37 gigabytes, so I probably ought to do it. Would you watch uh, an Outer Worlds stream? Where is even... I think the, the station got destroyed because it's not on here. We rescued these two. 